Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Evil's Weed Chronicles. I am the man, the myth, the legend, baby. Devo, welcome. If you've never been in here before, I hope you enjoy the time in here. Hit like and subscribe. <laughs> and if you've been in here before, hang on. It's about to get bumpy. The year was, it wasn't very long ago, okay? This is a recent story. I wasn't no kid. Um, There was no teenagers in this story. Had some friends that came by. We um, hadn't seen each other. One of them was a friend that I'd never met before through my friend. So it was his friend. We all met. <laughs> cool cat, man. I mean, ultra cool. He smokes. Not as much as I do or my buddy does. But he smokes. He has responsibilities. He's still, you know, he's got little kids. All my kids are grown. Therefore, I'm at the age of my life, folks, that I can do whatever I want to do. That's right. Just so having these guys who I was with that night, we're all sitting around drinking, hitting a bong, having a great time, talking about old stuff. <coughs> all of a sudden, somebody hands me something and I reach over to grab it. I think it's a joint. It was a stick about that tall and had a little cap on it. Dry. Yeah. Mushrooms. <clears throat> cool. I ate it. Now, I haven't done mushrooms in probably... <clears throat> I think I was uh, 22, 23 years old when I did blotter. And did it for a while. Back when we was playing music and crap. And did a lot of mushrooms back in my early age. Had some good trips. Had some awesome trips. Had some really bad trips. Well, this, uh, this time that we were doing this then, I, like I said, I hadn't done them in forever. And a couple hours goes by and I'm still normal. Everything's still screwed up. So I'm like, hey man, I don't think that was enough. You know, I'm a big guy. It usually takes me quite a bit of everything before I can, I'm an in excess guy. <coughs> hey, no problem, man. No problem. I understand. Hand me another one. I ate it. <coughs> couple of hours go by. I'm the light in the yard's changing on me. But it's nothing like what I remember. I'm thinking, man, I want this. Blam! And next thing I know I'm sitting next to Jim Morrison's Indian talking to him. That kind of that's what I want. Or sitting out in a field somewhere in the dark eating mushrooms and then the next thing you know you're talking to cows and they're answering. That's what I want. Nothing. I'm like, man, have I just outgrowed? This drug. So he gave me two or three more. I said, man, I ain't eating these right now. I'll eat them before I go home. I had a good 25-minute drive home. So, and it's dirt roads and stuff, man. There's no highways, nothing like that. So, you know, us old-timers know how to get around without having to be around people. And um, so I'm cruising. I, I get to the area which is paved, but it's right here by my house. So it's about two miles. No cars, nothing. I mean, this is a, there's only so many houses down this road, so no traffic. All of a sudden, when I turn down to go up the hill and go down that thing, my car feels like it rises. Two foot up off the ground. And I'm not even looking at the car. And I'm like, man, what in the hell is in my car? Just stop driving. It's just not making no noise. I'm floating. I don't know. I'm probably doing 20 mile an hour. I don't know. So I get to my house and I remember killing the car and I sit out there and watch things flying around outside, little fairies and frogs with wings. And yeah, I ate enough. I just didn't give my old rear end time to take it in. And uh, yeah. It wasn't a bad trip, don't get me wrong. It was enjoyable. It was pretty good. It felt like it cleansed my body when I came down. Would I do it again? Not for a while. Can't control that kind of stuff. Once you're there, you're there, folks. Just hang on and ride it out. And pray to God that it's a good trip. You're good people. Because one bad person can screw up a good mushroom high. But hey, it grows out of the ground. God makes it. 
Man didn't make it. Thank you for listening. Hit like, subscribe. Be kind to one another. And God bless and keep smoking, people.